हेलो फ्रेंड्स प्लीज हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफाइड फॉर न्यू वीडियोस हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल फर्स्ट आई वांट टू थैंक यू ऑल फॉर योर ऑल सपोर्ट्स वी हैव रीच 300 प्लस सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड मेंबर्स ऑन व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप आल्सो रीच टू इट्स मैक्सिमम लिमिट थैंक यू सो मच इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब येट प्लीज प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड हिट द बेल आइकन नाउ कम टू द वीडियो as some of you already knows that i am a die hard fan of marvel comics especially the iron man so today's video is dedicated to his artificial intelligence program friday i'll show you what i am talking about so i'll run this program hello sir this is your artificial intelligence friday hello friday hello mr singh how can i help you open windows Okay sir. Open program files. Okay sir. Bye Friday. Bye sir. Have a good day. So friends, as you see, I have developed this program and where we can give command to this program and it will respond to your commands for now this is a basic one by the time we will develop it and make it better so for now we will learn how to make this basic program so for this i am going to create a new project marvel and we need to select the base interpreter which is 2 and in new window i am opening it so we have created this project now first we need to import three modules so we will go to file then settings then we will select our project marvel then project interpreter and then click on this add button now first we will have speech recognition here so we will install it so this is installed now we need i audio this one click on install package and let's see it is also installed now we need text to speech api for that we have pytts and we will have this xp so let's click on it so this is also installed hit okay now we need to have a python file so i am creating that and naming it as friday now we will import the speech recognition module and creating the short name as r now we will import the text to speech PYTTSX3. This. Now we will have the text-to-speech engine. So for that, I am creating an object and PYTTX dot in it, and it is taking two parameters, and both are optional. If you will not give any uh, parameter, then it will take it default the driver name, which is already installed in windows or mac so i am not giving any driver name now this method will give exception so for that we will implement the exception handling and two types of exception it will raise so we have accept and first is import error so if this error will come then the message will show requested driver is not found and the second exception it will show runtime error and the message will print as driver 
fails to initialize like this spelling i n t i l sorry i n i that one so we have initialized the engine here also we need colon like this now we need to set some property of this engine so for that we have engine dot first we need to get that property and the property name is voices so it will return a list of installed voices let me show you so we will create a loop for this voice in voices and printing voice dot id so let's run this let's see what we will have so these two voices are installed on the system so i'll prefer this one so i'll copy it and now we need to set that property for engine so engine dot set property and property name is voice and second parameter voice name like this now every time when we run the program this text to speech this TTS, MS, English, US version, Zira. This is the female voice. Now you need to set the speech rate of the voice. So for that, first we need to get the default system speech rate. So for that, engine dot get property then rate. So we will have the default rate in this. Now we need to set the same dot set property and then rate the second parameter will be the rate so now let's run this so we have no error now let's have some command engine and for that we have a method say so here i am printing hello sir this is Friday and we have one more method engine dot run and wait what it does in the time the speech will not complete it will hold the execution of the program so let's run this hello sir this is Friday so our program is working fine now to create the actual program i need to create a function so for that f peak underscore text command cmd i am giving and the command as an argument so i am going to again code that the same say cmd then engine part run and wait so this is the function so by this way we will have the command from the artificial intelligence but how we can get the voice from how can we give the command in the form of voice so for that i am going to create another method f read voice command cmd like this now we need an object of speech recognition so for that now i am creating a variable speech sorry speech equals to sr dot recognizer like this now in the method every time this recognizer will read the voice command so for that we will open 
we have with keyword so sr dot microphone sorry we need caps m microphone and i am giving it name as source now we need to pass this microphone or source to the listener so for that we have speech dot listen source so every time when we speak to our microphone then the voice will be listen by speech recognizer and that will come into audio now uh we will have voice command into a variable which is voice text equals to speech speech recognize google and we will give that audio to the google recognizer now it will also throw some errors so for that i am going to implement i and accept so accept it will throw sr dot unknown value error so this exception will come whenever the given command is not found i'm keeping it as pass the another exception whenever we have the network problem or we cannot connect with the google speech engine then this exception will occur and which is sr dot request error sorry request error so e so this time we will print some message because whenever the network problem is there we need to know that network sorry network error now we will create this variable in the beginning of the function equals to blank and i am returning the same so return voice text like this so this is the function which will read our voice command so we have created two functions first which will speak on behalf of friday our artificial intelligence and this function is for to read our voice commands now i am getting the main and here first whenever we run this program we will have speak text command so here i am going to give hello mr sing this is friday as your artificial intelligence artificial intelligence so let's first run this and see whether we have any error or not hello mr singh this is friday as your artificial intelligence so i'm just going to comment or i'll remove this because we don't need it so here now i'm creating a while loop because i want to run this program continuously here i'm getting the voice command so we have read voice command and i'm saving it in a variable which is voice note now every time when i'll say hello friday then we need to call a greeting message from our artificial intelligence so for that i'm creating if hello in our voice note then our friday will speak and say Hello, sir. 
how can I help you? And this will again go to our while loop. Now, if, sorry, if I'll have any open command, so open in read, sorry, a uh, voice note, voice note, then it will open the same folder name. So for that, first I need to import OS module, import OS. Now here OS dot system and I am giving the command here. which will be explorer explorer and that folder name will be only from c drive so i am giving it as c then format and then we will split the voice note sorry not splitting uh, just need to replace the open space from bank why is this because we will give the command like open explorer open folder open windows open program files so this will not work here so we need to just remove the open from the command so we are done with this and now again this will continue the loop Again, I am going to give a lift and again when I will say by or in my command there is by then it will do something and what it will do? It will do or it will speak by Mr. Singh happy to help you have a good day. And program will exit. So here three things our artificial intelligence will do. First it will greet. Then it will open some folders. And third thing it will say bye. I will print some messages here. So that the execution flow will be easy to read so here I'm printing a message listening and here we will have the voice command printing cmd and dot format voice note so let's run this again hello mr singh this is friday as your artificial intelligence hello friday hello sir how can i help you open windows okay sir open program files Okay, sir. Bye, Friday. Bye, Mr. Singh. Happy to help you. Have a good day. Friends, I hope you like this video and you will definitely going to develop this program. If yes, please hit the like button and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notified for every new interesting video. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind.